Today, 55% of the world's population lives in urban areas, a proportion that is expected to increase to 68% by 2050. Projections show that urbanization combined with overall growth of the world's population could add another 2.5 billion people to urban areas by 2050. A solution to urbanizing societies have been seen through vertical farming. However, just how efficient can these be in cities, especially where there's weather is not suitable for growing? The automatic box fits perfectly in the market for household gardening systems. This is perfect for first-time farmers. The combination of autonomy and machine learning will prevent the user from making drastic mistakes, helping the experienced user increase production. Using camera that is capable of 1080p and 720, we are connecting it to the Raspberry 3 using CSI interface, designed especially to interface for cameras. For our image classifier, we use TensorFlow, and we trained it by using neighboring pixel comparison to determine the state of the plant. The state information is needed to know when to begin changing temperature, humidity, or light system parameters. The better trained our classifier, the sooner we can identify a bad plant state. This is allow us to fix the parameters before any real damage is done. When collecting data, we are collecting it from our sensor network in order to send it to our server. We will need to send sensor data to our cloud server for calculation. This is done using a mesh network of Generation 2 Zigbee's. Here, calculation refers to our autoregression machine learning technique. Autoregression is a model that uses observations from previous input to a regression equation to predict the value at the next step. Once the calculations have completed, the predicted values have been selected and we will receive them via the Raspberry Pi module. 
The Pi will then activate the necessary steps for a system until the new value has been reached. For example, if it is too hot, the Pi will trigger the fan cooling system while the temperature is above 75 degrees. This requires the temperature module to wake, record, and transmit a value to the Pi intermittently.